Hey guys, uh, today we are going to talk about the importance of saying no. The um, perhaps one of the most important uh, words in your business. Um, when you are starting out as a copywriter, um, it can feel like you need and you want to say yes to every possible opportunity. If someone wants to work with you, it feels like, well, of course I have to say yes. They want to work with me. I need to take them up on this. Um, but there are going to be some times when you, you want to say no, you need to say no, you should say no. Um, for example, if you're talking with a client and they need a project in a time frame that you just can't do, you're going to have to say no. If you're talking with a potential client and they want to pay you a lot less than you than is feasible for you to do the work, you have to say no. Um, even sometimes when you are talking with a client or a potential client and you just get kind of like a a weird vibe. Maybe they seem a little scammy or maybe they seem, maybe even sometimes they seem a little bit um, scattered, uh, like they'd be difficult to work with. Um, I will say no to clients just when they seem like they're so new to business that it's going to require a lot of business coaching from me. Um, but sometimes it's going to be important for you to say no to a client, uh, which is going the exact opposite of the way I think a lot of us think when we are first getting started, as in I have to talk, I have to work with every possible client. Um, but here's what I want you to remember. Um, you, when you're talking with this one client, it feels like there's one client, this is my one opportunity, I have to get this work. Um, it's a very limited mindset. When the truth is, is then our students know from when you start compiling your list of potential clients to, to pitch or potential companies to pitch, um, the actual number of possible clients to work with is, is bigger than you can even fathom. The, the number of companies, the number of, of organizations out there that you may be able to work with is, is there are millions, millions. And, um, you know, and that's again, that's from like small mom and pops, uh, small solopreneurs up to multi billion dollar companies. And the, the potential for, for clients is it's almost unfathomable. And especially when you think as a copywriter, even if you're a full time copywriter, you can probably only handle maybe like, four or five clients a month. And the next month you may, some of those may um, carry over. You may be working with some of the same clients the next month anyway. So it's not like you need to have like 10,000 clients in order to hit your your goals. No, the, the reality is, is that four or five clients a month is probably all that you can handle and probably enough to take you to that as long as you're charging at a reasonable rate, not working for peanuts here. That's not what we're teaching. Um, it will take, it can take you to that, that six figure level if that's where you want to be. So instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I have to say yes to this client. This client, this client is willing to work with me. I have to say yes to them. Remember that you are a valuable asset that you have a lot of value to bring to a company. It's not about, oh, please, please give me work. It's about you coming in and being a partner that can provide a, a lot of benefit to their company that can have a major impact on their company. So anytime you you're viewing any of these interactions or, or viewing any of this with with desperation, first of all, you're doing yourself a real disservice. Um, you know, the client may or may not be able to feel it, but that's not what you bring to the table. You don't bring desperation to the table. You bring an incredibly, incredibly valuable service and you can be an incredibly valuable partner for them. So when you are talking with your clients, I don't want you to be thinking in terms of, oh God, I, I have to say yes, because I really need this client. I really, really want this client. And yes, sometimes there are clients that we just really, really want to work with, but you, that doesn't mean that there aren't times when you shouldn't just say, this just isn't going to work because there will be times that that happens. Again, maybe they want to charge or maybe they want to pay you just less than it makes sense for you to take that work for. Now, if it's a client you really, really want to work for, I've done that. You know, I've taken projects that I'm like, it's barely even worth it for me to do this. However, the project's super fun and it'll be a nice break for me. Um, I haven't done it for very long, but uh, but it's, it's kind of fun. Um, 
so you need to judge that for yourself. But when I, you know, if you figure out, okay, well, this is the price, this is the price I'm, I'm proposing. This is the least I would be willing to do it for. And they come back and they want, they want you to do it for even less. Then you could say no. You say, you know, thank you so much for this opportunity. Unfortunately, um, it just doesn't make sense for me to to work at that price. Um, but I, I hope you find uh, another fantastic copywriter. That is so reasonable. And same thing too, if a client gets you on the phone and they're like, hey, so we have this project and we need this done by tomorrow. Or even, okay, hey, we have this project and we need this done by next week or two weeks. And if you don't have room on your schedule, I mean, if you truly don't have room and you don't want to try to burn the midnight oil or work through the weekend or, or maybe you already are, you have to say no. You can't, you can't miss a deadline, right? We all know that deadlines are sacred. You can't miss a deadline. So you may have to say to a client, you know, I'm so sorry, but my schedule is just so full right now that I can't take this on. Um, you know, if you have some availability in two weeks, then maybe you could propose that to them. But it just it makes sense to say no and again too same thing listen to your gut if you're talking with a client you're like nah, something is off here something is like the way they're asking me to provide stuff or the way they're asking me to to the way they they say they're going to pay me or the way they're going to like if you're getting an off vibe you can say no obviously once you agree to work with a client you agree to work with a client and you agree to provide what you're going to provide by the date you provide but so prior prior to that like listen to your gut if you're getting a weird feeling from a client don't work with that client you can find another one um and like i was saying same thing if they're like a super newbie client or if they're really kind of scattered and they just can't seem to to focus maybe you want to not work with them or maybe you want to put in some parameters in order to work with them but my point is is that sometimes you need to say no and then that's that that can be the case too if a client is asking for something additional um if they if they want to if they're like oh can we just add this into the project that you already quoted for no i quoted the project based on the information that you gave me and that is that's what that's for i'm, I'm happy to do this work uh, and so i'll send you another quote for this additional item that's out of scope now, obviously, in that case, you may not actually say the word no. You might say, sure, I'd be happy to do that. But since that's outside the scope of what I've already quoted for, um, I'll send you through another quote and you let me know when you're ready to move forward with it. So you're not literally saying the word no, but in your head you're going, no, I'm not just going to add that in because that's not how this works. This is the price for this project. You want to add something else, then you're going to pay me something else. Um, but remember, I think that the one of the key things that you need to to keep in mind is you are providing a ton of value. You have a lot of value to offer to your clients, and sometimes you need to protect your professional integrity. Sometimes you need to pr protect your your well being, um, and sometimes you need to just protect your business and think it through carefully. But sometimes you need to say no. <laughs> 